Um, as of right now, the baby's fine. She's a little overdue, but um, physically everything's fine. Sarah Brady is concentrating on her unborn baby's health instead of on the attack she endured allegedly at the hands of Katherine Smith. When I had spoke with Katie Smith, she was a very trusting, friendly, intelligent sounding person. You would never imagine that there was anything offbeat about her story. Brady says Smith told her she was pregnant too, but police say that was false. Inside her apartment, police say they found a pregnancy suit along with baby and medical supplies. Brady thought Smith wanted to kill her for her baby, and she says she had no other choice but to fight back. It's a tragedy that Katie lost her life, um, and it, it's very unfortunate. And, you know, we give our condolences to the family um, because at this time, I'm sure they need all the support that I've received from friends and family. Part of the investigation for police includes Catherine Smith's past. In 2001, her father was sentenced to 20 years for sexually abusing her as a child. His case, however, is not getting a second look. The matter has been reviewed twice, once in the Court of Appeals, once in the Supreme Court, and in both instances, the judgment was affirmed. There was no reversible error, so it was a clean trial. Brady says her maternal instinct got her through the alleged attack and now she plans to tell her daughter about it someday. I guess as time goes on and once the healing process is completed and we've put this behind us and we're able to move on with our lives, we'll be able to decide what's, what we're going to tell her at that time.